Are you planning on building an above ground pool deck this summer? If you are, I've got a couple tips for you. Hi, I'm Rich Bergman from Decks Go, and one of the ways you can install your railings to a, a wood deck like this very easily is using the Titan wood post anchor. I'd like to show you a couple tips if you're not familiar with this on how to install and also some of the visual and uh, benefits you're going to get from using this in terms of making your investment last a long, long time. Let's go take a look. We decided to use the Titan wood post anchor on this project primarily because of the speed and ease and the lack of skill, carpentry skill that was required uh, for this particular job. Now, if you're not familiar with the Titan post anchor, this is the 4x4, this is the 6x6, and this particular job just used the 4x4. So what you're going to get in your kit is obviously a post anchor, hot zinc galvanized, powder coated, and you're going to get some lag screws and some deck screws, which uh, are, are flathead screw, and they fit into these really nice, precisely sort of uh, counterboard holes. So you get a really nice finish here. Uh, a couple things I should mention regarding this, because it's often asked, is the drive head for this. It's, since it's a square drive, um, you've got to use a number three drive, not a number two. So this is a number three. You can see it's a little bit beefier and the contact is really solid. You'll, you, you just won't strip this. Uh, whereas if you accidentally take a, a number two square drive, it, it gives you this false sense of security here. It actually fits and you will be able to turn the screw partially, but if you hit a knot or hit some friction, then what happens is you can very easily strip that head. So uh, just a, a, a point to remember, a number three square drive is important. So quick summary on how You'll install this, you're gonna take a hole saw, which is an inch and a quarter diameter, mark the center of the post, and get that screw tip to line up with that center point of the diagonal and plunge it straight down. Now, if you're new and you're really, really uncertain, you can use one of these uh, center guides, butt this up against the corner of the post, and these three little legs, vertical legs, will hold the hole saw in there nicely to get it started. Once you get it started, you can remove that and then just plunge it down. You can check uh, vertical by looking uh, from two adjacent angles, one from this side and one from this side. If you do that, you know that you are up and down straight. And the last thing to, to, to mention, it's often uh, asked, is why is the hole saw not as long as the tube? You'll notice that this hole saw is a typical uh, hole saw. It's an inch and seven eighths actual depth of cut, and it's significantly shorter than the tube. And that's intentional. The reason is, is that this tube has a sharp inside edge and it's designed to track into that pilot cut once you've squared it both vertically uh, and uh, uh, horizontally and impale deep into the post so the wood actually fills in the uh, inner cavity of this hole. So then you're going to pre-drill, drop in your legs, and then the beauty of all that is that you can literally surface mount this and locate with complete freedom where you want those posts. The only uh, stipulation is you've got to maintain it, uh, no more than a six foot on center spacing. And on this deck, you can see by virtue of the length here, uh, these intervals are approximately five feet, maybe five feet, four inches. So well within the range of, uh, of the engineering limits and uh, very simple to do. So let's go down and take a look at these posts after seven years of a harsh winter and you know, hot, sticky, wet summers. Down here at the side of the deck here, we can see a post anchor that's gone in uh, and been installed for over seven years. And you can see the quality of this post despite the climatic conditions that it's gone through over the last seven years. Quick note here, these are pan head screws. This particular model came out a long time ago. We've, we've since introduced a counter bore to it. So that's why these are pan head screws. But the point here is that why is this post looking so good and lasting so long? And it's because we've got an air gap here. This post is high and dry off of the wet deck surface by virtue of this 5 8 uh, thick base. Now, underneath each post, we have a 2 by 8 flat screwed between the, the joist base. That's another important feature here so that these screws actually bite into something a little more than just a 5 quarter deck board. And then the other thing to remember is that by virtue of surface mounting, the convenience that comes with that, we've eliminated the necessity to notch uh, from, you know, intermittently these deck boards. So if you've got to do that, what happens is you end up weakening that board, you expose the edges to more weather, and oftentimes you end up with these unusual little orphan chunks that fall off because of the way you had to cut it, it's more susceptible to cupping or, or um, cracking. 
So you can eliminate all that by virtue of a surface mounted system. And lastly, the takeaway here is if you really want total protection from weather, you can use one of our two piece metal uh, snap fit uh, post skirts. And these are galvanized and powder coated. So they're gonna, they're gonna perform very well over the long haul and they fit like that nicely. So that is it. If you're building a deck this summer, be it an above ground pool deck or any other kind of wood structure, keep the Titan wood post anchor in mind. It's a great solution for residential one, two family uh, dwellings. And uh, I'm sure you'll find it very, uh, very helpful to be part of your arsenal of tools. Take care. Thank you for watching this video. If this was helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more content like this. For more in-depth articles or to check out cool new products, visit our blog or our store at Dexco.com. And be sure to keep an eye out for us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest.